I want to talk to you about two week hadith, two week narrations. One is from a Sahabi, not from Rasulullah himself, but from a Sahabi. And he stated that the Mahdi will emerge when he is 40 years of age and he will look like a man from among the Bani Israel. So, this hadith, as I said, it's weak and from a Sahabi, but it was said. You know, so it was said more than 1400 years ago, we know this. And if we now look, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim, indeed he emerged when he was 40 years of age. Um, Subhanallah, that's when he first shared his dreams on command of Rasulullah And he does also look like a man from among the Bani Israel. How come I say this, if you cannot recognize this? Me, myself, um, the half of my family from my father's side is Ashkenazi Jews, okay? So, I know what I'm talking about. I know my, my uncles, I know the friends of my family, how they look like and also how they, how they behave. And I can um, confirm really to you that Muhammad Qasim does, um, subhanAllah, does indeed really uh, look like a man from among the Bani Israel and also kind of act similar uh, to them. And adding to this maybe is that if a Eastern guy, like a Pakistani, or could also be an, an, an Arab, if he shaves his beard, um, it's likely he looks like a man from among the Bani Israel as well. Because today you will you will mostly find the Muslims, um, generally speaking, very uh, having beards, you know, due to religious reasons, and uh, from among the Jews and the Christians you you find mostly the Orthodox who keep these traditions and the others not necessarily you know not at least not in the same quantity as the Muslims do so um, from that uh, point of view we can also um, can also say if, if for the fact that Muhammad Qasim shaves his beard that makes him also look um, from among like one from among the Ben Israel and I, I would wonder how he looks uh, like uh, wearing a beard um, how, how, it, how he does look then um, man, adding to that um, the, the Christians are the Europeans right normally today and the Jews and the Muslims in other way the Ben Israel and the Arabs, they are both Semites, they are Semitic tribes, both coming from Ibrahim salam, through Ishaq and Ismail, so it means they are even cousins, they have the same uh, background, come from the same place, so it's not far that they also do look similar, so um, from that uh, I can indeed affirm that although this hadith was um, was um, said to be weak from the scholars, subhanAllah it came true, you know, it came true and uh, a weak hadith is only as long weak as um, it doesn't prove uh, true, right? But if it proves true, then it's obviously it's true, you know, and as I said, for the fact that it was said, ask yourself how, uh, from how come this Sahabi comes on this, if it's not totally fabricated. And even if, if it was fabricated, you know, if you say it was fabricated, how did he know this, you know? So, subhanAllah, it's true, brother. It's true. And the second hadith is from Rasulullah Also, we hadith, and in this hadith, he, will, he also mentions the Mahdi will emerge when he's 40 years of age, with a face like a shining star, and he would um, look like a, a man from the Bani Israel, and adding to the... The difference to the other hadiths of the Zahabi is that the Rasul said in this hadith he has a black mole on his right cheek. And look the picture of Muhammad Qasim, he has indeed a, a black mole on his right cheek. SubhanAllah. And I don't even know if he had a full beard, if you could see this black mole, right? And the Prophet said in another narration, the Mahdi will resemble me in conduct but he will not resemble me in appearance 
So this can also be an indication that the man indeed um, will not uh, have a beard or at least in the beginning not as Rasul had, he had a sick beard.